I will say this. I think most people have a functioning level of emotional intelligence. But we are tested every single day. And when you're tested every single day, there are elements of emotional intelligence that you falter in. So, for instance, you may be self-aware, but you may lack empathy, you know what I mean, depending on who you encounter. You may be empathetic, but sometimes you just aren't self-aware when it's something that you like if it's something that you strongly feel uh you're, you're strong about you may be lack the self-awareness to understand that you may be the problem in that situation because you're so headstrong on the fact that i know i'm right i know i'm in this situation i know i gotta be right so i think we all have a functioning level of emotional intelligence because if, if to be to be real if we didn't this world would be a much worse place so we all have to function. That doesn't, but we are testing. I think there are elements of our emotional intelligence where we falter. You know, they're like, you know, what I mean, we see it every day in these conversations where how do you get a group of men and a group of women to have a conversation on a panel, right? And somehow all the men understand each other. And then all the women understand each other, but we don't understand one another. And it's just we not nothing's crossing over. You know what I mean? I've seen that plenty of times on these panels where it's like, man, I know you ain't no way you can't tell me you don't understand where we're coming from. You know what I mean? And I think it took me being in, like it took me being in the shop with my wife and hearing women's stories for me to finally understand, like, damn, hey shit. Sometimes we we can do some fuck shit as men. But then that's what I try to get women to understand when we on these panels is like, hey, if you can understand that this happens to you in this aspect and you have a whole bunch of lady friends and things like that can tell you that you that you go to and they tell you all these stories. Don't you think that we have the same stories about women going through our minds? And that's where the empathy comes in, comes into play. It is that, OK, if I feel this about y'all and you're telling me there's some things that we're doing wrong on this part, on our part then that's where the empathy and everything really comes into play. But most of the time we falter. It's easy to take sides. It's easy to, to be self-absorbed. It's easy to not, uh, to not regulate your emotions. It's easy to not have, uh, to not be empathetic. It's, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's, it's hard, but that's the things we're trying to do on these panels, man. We're trying to come to an understanding, but, uh, to, to Marcus point, uh, regarding patience i also believe that we all have a degree of patience but also to mark this point we have a boy we have a point where we're no longer patient there's a point where you get to it because all of us dealt with somebody that we were extremely patient with and it was it didn't push us over the edge but we were patient enough with their their trauma their problem because the thing is first of all we're black so we understand that we both come from some level of traumas, you know what I mean, some type of traumas or some type of historical context that gives us the understanding that, hey, look, I understand you may not be where exactly you're supposed to be at. So we give each other, but there's a, there's a certain level of patience that where we wear, you, where our patience wear thin, and that goes on both sides. So I'm in agreement with you there. I think there's some people out there, and those people do tend to get left alone. There is no, you have no choice but to either be by yourself or with somebody that's just as toxic as you. Because the reality is any normal person won't deal with you. Even if they have, even if they do have patience. And they may not have so much patience, but they have enough patience to deal with the people that don't cross that force them cross over to cross over that threshold. All right. Uh go ahead, relationship talk with G's. Hey, uh first and foremost, um, I wanted to um, thank uh, you, uh, Lapeef and Smooth, for um, um, allowing me to uh, share this uh, space with y'all. Um, I think it's really awesome um, that um, a bunch of men that can get together and actually and, and show that um, together you know, as one force can actually conversation and take one, uh, one further step to uh, a positive influence uh, on planet Earth, and um, I say that to say that um, growing up as a kid, I would say it was very, I became self-aware once I started walking to elementary school, and at the age of six, I was very aware, and I saw things I would like to 
tunnel vision. And one thing that's important that is, you know, I had very bad issues growing up as a child. And I grew up in um, a house full of women. Um, and inhabited a lot of those traits as far as impatience, as far as anger, and, you know, my mother put me through, uh, my grandmother put me through childhood therapy. You know, I, listen, I was a kid, I used to have to get sent to Maryland to my uncle, my black, the black belt uncle to get my ass beat, you know, and I just could never understand the of me. And when I went to therapy, therapy didn't help that either. And I'm speaking from my personal experience when I say what I'm getting ready to say. I had a female and it was absolutely terrible. It was terrible because she couldn't relate, late, relate to me. And what she was doing was, I thought when I was inside of these therapy sessions as a kid, I thought it was supposed to be a safe space for me to be able to open up. But the fact that everything was reciprocating back to her, it was going back to my to my mom, it was going back to my aunt, the people that I was speaking of, and then she brought them in the room. And then I, when she heard the things that I said, you know, it's like she didn't want to speak to me. You know, and she just couldn't understand it. But speaking from a child's place, people don't understand that children, humans are most vivid in memory, in movement, and in awareness when they are children. And this is very important for me to be put in therapy because what happens next may blow you. Switched my therapist. They switched my therapist at my request. I said, this is not working for you, therapist. This is me as a kid saying this. I said, I don't feel like this is going anywhere. I don't want to come here no more. I said, hold on one second. So one day, she happened in October, I guess. I, maybe she wasn't working there no more. And I ended up with a new therapist. Now, this guy, he was, I guess he still was like a like good therapist. Like he was still like maybe in training. Okay. Therapist or no therapist. Sometimes just because you are, um, um, what do they call it? Uh certified doesn't qualify for that individual and this therapist that they gave me was a male therapist and i had three sessions with him i had three sessions with him and it was over i said you know what i don't even know why i'm here that was the best help as far as therapy in my life and it and what i got out of that is that I had a better experience with a male therapist. What the answer was, the lack of a father figure, because I didn't grow up with one. So I learned patience. I learned things about respect. And he gave me different perspectives from a man on observe better, analyze better, and take what I analyze what looks right and what looks wrong and walk through with grace and patience and it made me be able to adapt with my mother more it made me be able to adapt more. it made me to be able to get respect more my uncle used to come from maryland right and they used to be down there just to visit right things that i would do on a normal even if it would just me no disrespect to my grandmother I just answered normally, but how I, but he took it, he got up and he had a butt my, butt of my ass because it was something that I didn't do that he didn't like. I didn't say yes, man, right? And I observed that after getting a couple hard knocks to me, you get what I'm saying? I started to get the picture at the therapist. This was all before my therapist and it made me realize everything and I started to have grace and I started to be more self-aware. And more importantly, with I started making myself more open to figures that was in the family. 
which was my older cousins, which was my older uncles. And I grew a lot of my manhood and I grew a lot of my, 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 my traits um, from those men. And it made me be able to learn and deal with um, humans better. It made me learn to deal with, have respect for older people. And it made me uh, have respect for women. 